Good morning, everybody. Today is day 157. It is July 11th, 2023. It is 11.40 a.m. And this is video one of our double day. Okay, video two will be for day 176, which is July 30th. I just want to make sure that I say that in the beginning so that I don't forget. Okay, because this is video number three. Um, of course, I erased the first, they were just a couple of minutes and I just couldn't get it right this morning, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay. And I'm definitely already feeling the heat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and at least get the treadmill up to one. When I turned it on, I heard a series of pops and the power went out to this wall. So I already had to go to the breaker and uh, turn the power back on. So I'm really hoping that this thing behaves and that both days run smoothly. Now, the other thing is, I know that our AC is always set to where it'll come on for a certain temperature, but it has not been coming on all morning. So that flash might have been because I started this treadmill, you guys. So I am really hoping that, um, Okay, let's see, I'm gonna get it up to 15. I don't think it was finished getting up to 10. It wouldn't go past 10 just now. So yes, I'm hoping that that flash that we just saw is not because it's pulling the power and once I get to two, it's gonna be like, oh, I don't think so. Okay, so, um, especially since I just got my nails done yesterday. And uh, we will, if everything runs smoothly, pick up where we left off from yesterday. Okay, that's 1.6, 1.7, danger zone, remember? 1.8, 1.9, 2 .0 at 1 minute and 48 seconds. Okay, so yesterday, um, I told you guys about my driving lesson that it went well, and um, also, I called the rest of my walk and talk, my partially irritated walk and talk because I was partially irritated. Today, I'm fine, but we're going to finish that up. Okay, so um, I'm sure there's something that I'm already forgetting, but I will add it to the end or after I tell you guys the rest of the story. Okay, so where we left off that was that I was leaving um, Chipotle, right? And the person that was driving on the wrong side of the parking lot that just kept driving like right toward me and then the fact that I was getting ready to turn out into the street and these cars started coming across the light, right? Like I said, mind you, they weren't because if they were, I wouldn't have started out. <laughs> so, excuse me, my voice um, is gone. Um, not to the point to where obviously I can't talk at all. But I think just, I don't, like I said, usually talk a lot. This is the most that I've talked. I would probably say, I won't say ever, because like I said, if you know me, especially if I'm telling you a story or if we're talking about things, you know, I'll practically talk your ear off. But like I said, you guys, keep in mind, um, my husband works a lot. I'm by myself a lot. And so unless someone calls me on the phone, I pretty much talk to no one. So my voice, vocal cords, whatever, is not used to this. But anyway, so I get back onto the main street. I go to the store and uh, the store, I don't want to say it's up. Well, okay, the store itself is like not up on a little hill, but then again, it, it kind of is. Like the parking lot goes up, okay? And everything went fine in the store. I bought what I was going to buy. Um, the cashier gave me a box. And so I took the box back out. My junk's still on the phone. And so I decide I'm going to put the box in the hatch part. And we ordered uh, this like mat that goes in the back of SUVs. 
It's actually pretty cool. It's really easy to clean and it looks really pretty. Like it looks nice. And um, it has, think of a waffle, kind of like that print. So I'm thinking, well, okay, I'm gonna put this box here, everything's gonna be fine. I close the hatch, I look to my left of the direction I'm going to back up and turn to go, and I completely have forgot about the heel. Yes. Um, the way I described it to the person I was on the phone with is this. You know those one street that you get to with your bicycle or your roller skates or roller blades and you know you shouldn't go down it? Um, picture that. Okay. And so um, I knew I had to drive up it because the driveway that I came into is only supposed to be for people driving in. Now, so far as the arrow being there to indicate that, I can't remember if you can even still see it. But I believe there is a little bit of it left. Um, I personally think they need to repaint that. Okay, I don't know how many people have went out that way not knowing. Okay, so I know, and I was thinking about doing it too. When I thought about it, I was like, oh no. I put the box like right behind the back seat. The hill's like this. So, and on top of that, I'm in this SUV, right? And I'm thinking if I were in a smaller car, would I feel any better? Not really. What's the worst thing that can happen when you're going uphill? Your brakes go out, and I'm assuming you roll backwards, right? So I said, okay. Um, especially if you're going to stick, I know you would, if you don't know how like to drive a stick that well, like me. Uh, me and Slopes are not friends with six years of age, so you guys that yesterday as well or the day before. So that's not my cousin. I have to drive up this hill. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I drive up, and you know what I decided? I'm not going to stop. There's a stop sign there. Yeah, they, they have... Well, I can understand why it's there, but it's just, I don't want to say they have nerve. Like, it makes sense that it's there. It's just, like I said, if I had a stick, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I would go out the driveway you're not supposed to go out of. I would. Um, but I told her, I said, if I see that there's nobody and you kind of don't see that until your two front wheels are up on the hill, um, that I'm going to keep going. And that's what I did. So, I guess you can say I ran the parking lot stop sign. Um, I looked, I made sure, to your left it's not necessarily the problem, when you get up high enough, it's the right, okay, and I've had to stop, because one time I stopped and thought, okay, I'm going to go, I don't see anyone, but like I said, you truly can't really see someone until you're partially up on the hill, that's the design um, defect of that parking lot. They don't give you enough to get up onto a platform to be able to see and then to be able to continue on. Okay, so I just went ahead and went. No cars. So I thought, there's four bottles back there. If that box slides, oh my gosh, down to the hatch, I'm assuming they're going to break. There I go, turning right back around to rebuy them. Plus, I didn't even think about the fact that we'll probably have to clean up the mess even though they were in a box. Um, also the box couldn't close. And I think, you know something? I think they actually fit in to where like the height was still where you could close it. So what I was going to do was to do that fold that you do when you don't have tape to pretty much in a sense close the box. But I didn't. And even though I heard a little bit of movement, surprisingly, that didn't happen. So the box was fine, the box stayed in the place. As a matter of fact, um, while well, I'm jumping ahead, I'll keep going. Okay, so I was reminding myself, you know, you make mental notes, you don't write anything down for your errands, right? And uh, I was like, you have to stop by Chili's. So I go, like I said, rush our traffic, and I get to where you're gonna turn into Chili's. Now, 
obviously no cars are coming. I wouldn't go if there was. But what I don't think I noticed was the guy. Don't worry, I didn't hit him. But I was thinking while I was turning, like he was power walking. And you guys, let me tell you, we both made the mistake of having on sweats that day, me and the guy. And uh, I saw him and I was thinking, if I saw a car was turning and that they had the chance to go, I wouldn't keep walking like as if I'm gonna walk in front of them. And mind you, yes, he was on the left side. Okay, so he was over here. And of course, when you turn to a parking lot, you turn it onto the right, right? So good thing he wasn't there because I probably would have had to stop because he just kept walking. So um, I really, oh, that is my hair, good. My hair is like all jacked up today. Um, I brushed it up and it's like, I don't care. I'm gonna do what I want. I didn't feel like running the fire and over the ponytail to curve it. So yeah, it's, um, it's just doing something. But anyway, so I thought, okay, good, that he wasn't on my side because I wouldn't have hit him, but now I'm stopped in the middle of the street. So there was that. And uh, I got inside, and they told me, oh, this goes on the other side. And I thought, oh yeah, I haven't been in Chile's in a while. Um, like I said, there is not one here. This town is very, very small. And so I forgot that the to go was on the side, on the side door. So I walk around and uh, I wait, I get the food, I get back into the vehicle and I'm like, okay, I'm getting out of here. Um, we were still talking about how yesterday just just was not the day, right? And like I said at the end of the other video, I wanna make sure I say this um, and before I get really far into it, I know this is not the worst day a person can have. Believe me, I know. Um, like I said, there's some things going on in the background that I have not discussed or I've talked about very, very briefly. And I'll tell you that even though I complain about the fact that I committed to walking every day and recording it, um, I'm happy that I do it because I'm just trying to stay busy. Like um, one of my other family members said uh, with what's happening right now. So um, my, I just need to focus on other things um, so that I, I don't know, I don't wanna just sit and be in my own thoughts. Um, so that's two more weeks. So, um, don't worry, I'm okay. You're, I just thought about the airport thing, what do you mean? Um, before uh, this takes place, so you guys can probably guess what it is by me saying that, but I wouldn't go too much into detail because it's a sad thing. So, um, like I said, I try to have this channel be as upbeat as possible. Um, so, anyway, I was all happy. I thought when I hit this freeway, when I connect to the one I go on to go home, I'm just gonna take my time, relax. I got stuff all in the car, and I just remember what I was gonna talk about next. I'm glad I said that. And so uh, I'm driving along, and uh, I remembered that there was one more store, <coughs> excuse me, that I wanted to go to, uh, Home Depot. I think I told you guys, they told me I have to make a purchase, any purchase, and it won't lower my credit limit. And I negotiated a pretty good credit limit, so I don't wanna lose it. Um, I was just gonna, like they said, purchase anything. I thought, thirsty, I don't think a 20 ounce should cost two or three bucks, you know, for anything, juice, water. I was gonna grab like a Sprite. That's something special, like a cherry Sprite. Um, I definitely got water because most of the time they tend to have Dasani and I can taste the difference and I like Dasani water so it would have been something. Anything, would have made whatever they had, just make a purchase. Ooh, maybe even like a chocolate candy bar or something. Some Skittles maybe, I don't know. Uh, 
Maybe not because I would have to eat them with my hands and I don't want to do that and dry. And I mean like actually pour them in my hands to eat them, right? Unless I just pour the bag up to my face. So I'd probably send back a bite. But um, I forgot. And by the time I remembered, the next exit wasn't necessarily an exit. It was like a connection from, like I said, that freeway to the next one or the highway. So I would actually have had to go down further. I wouldn't say further into the city because I was leaving the city, but you guys get what I mean. Further into the connected highway to get off, to get back on and end up back on the freeway, the highway, I don't know which one it is, to get back to the uh, Home Depot. Um, on your way out of town, there isn't one. There's only one, I think, in town. So even though the town's bigger than this one. Uh, actually bigger, like I said, than I think where I'm from too. But anyway, so I'm going and I'm telling uh, my cousin, I'm like, you know what? I can stand this entrance. You don't have a lot of space for the lane that you're in to go on. And people just act like there's not a whole nother lane that they can get into. And I've said it before. I don't know if this is every state, but the law in some states is that you're supposed to get over into maybe the left lane or the middle lanes, there's three, when you come to an entrance, a freeway entrance. And then when you pass it, then you get back over. Well, a lot of people don't do that. Despite the fact that they have that whole lane and the entrance lane ends quickly, too quickly. So I'm behind this SUV and they're going, they're going at a good speed, right? Through the curve, which is when you're supposed to slow down. I don't know. Uh, I'm not a driving expert, but I'm just saying, a lot of people know you don't go into the curve speeding, right? Or fast. Um, you speed up as you come out. And so they start to slow down. Oh my gosh, you guys. So I'm looking, of course, a semi tractor with a semi trailer is coming. Uh, I don't know why I would mention what kind I thought it was, but like a Volvo or something, it's pretty. But I don't wanna get hit by it, right? And I can see when we're curving. And so I'm thinking, of course, talking to my cousin, like I said, I told you guys, I have a slight, just a little bit of rubber, just a little bit. And so I know they can't hear me, but I feel better. So I was like, I cannot believe this. By the time I got on the freeway, me, and the person I was behind were even. Yeah, in order to make sure that neither one of us got hit, um, because I don't remember, no, 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 that's right. We both made it on before the semi came. Um, I had to actually get into the right lane, get into the left lane, mind you, it's only two, and make myself even with the person and try to pass them. Well, actually, I didn't try, I did. But like I said, you can see where the entrance lane ended. That's where the nose of their vehicle was and the nose of my vehicle was. Since when do you end up passing a person and you're both on the same arm ramp? And you're even to the end of the arm ramp with the person that you were behind. I can't stress that enough. So I'm irritated, right? And uh, I'm thinking this person could have got us both hurt. So I don't even like look at them, give them a dirty look or nothing. Of course, I'm venting this, you know, to my cousin and uh, I just sped up. I can't help it with the speed limit 65. I didn't have a choice because the thing about it is, as slow as they were going, the semi-tractor was going to have to do the same thing unless they slowed down because I don't even think the person was going to speed limit. So now I'm going like 75 and I'm like, I really hope I don't see a cop. That's 10 miles per hour over the speed limit. And I thought, well, they're going slow enough to where I can get in front of them and slow down. But we're coming up to another entrance and what are you supposed to do? Get over in the left lane, right? So I say, I pass that entrance, I get back over and finally I was able to take just one last deep breath and that was it. Finally. From what I can remember, 
it seemed like everything had calmed down. And uh, all I had to do was just make it home. That's it, I had an hour drive. So uh, I'm driving, we're still talking. Uh, we talked a good piece of the way and uh, ended up having to catch up with each other later, but which actually I started to get really sleepy and I told myself, no, you're the only one in the vehicle. No one else can drive. You're about, let's see, uh, maybe 30 minutes from home. You have to make it. So I'm trying not to fall asleep. Literally almost dozing off. Um, I had been up since, I don't know, five or maybe six or maybe even four. As a matter of fact, maybe 3.30 a.m. yesterday morning. And this was going on around 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So I had been up for a long, long time, but then again, kind of, yeah, if you think about it, the fact that um, I probably didn't get much sleep even before 3 a.m. So I decide, you know what? Got to get the car washed. Can't let the girls stay on it. Buggies, stuff like that. Um, we have a membership, take it through. Now this membership is unique. I've never seen a membership like this. You can only get the car washed once a day. So I thought, well, at least it's kind of late and I don't have to drive it anywhere else but home. So I said, okay, I'll do that. Uh, pick up a couple more things. Same parking lot or parking lot next to each other might as well. The store and gas station. And so I was like, all right. So um, at the water car wash, the reader for the license plate, like never reads the license plate for the T1. So um, unfortunately, I say unfortunately because it's super hot. Uh, someone has to come over and then push the screen because for some reason, unless I'm not pushing the correct thing, there's only like two or three options. You can't get to where it asks you to put in your license plate. And uh, I want to say, I don't know if the receipt you get when you first pay for the membership, if that's the barcode you need. But I don't even know. Like, I don't remember if it lets you get to a page to even scan a barcode. Um, I think it did. And I was like, I don't have that receipt. Like I said, it's supposed to read license plate. The arm is supposed to go up automatically. So I go through, and I like the car wash. Even though I don't like brushes and stuff like that. Um, I probably still wouldn't take Max through, even if I hadn't done the hyper dip. But it is a nice car wash. Your car comes out looking really pretty and sparkly. So I was like, okay, pretty sparkly car. And I was like, okay, I think I needed gas before I left. And I didn't gas up when I left. I had less than half a tank. So when I got back, I was close to a fourth of a tank. Topped off and uh, came home. And that's when you guys saw me, right after I put a couple things away. Um, he put away the rest of the stuff, and then, like I said, I came out here. Um, thought about doing two walks, and I couldn't. I was already in my workout clothes. I was already sweating, and so I was like, no, I'm just going to do one. Which the plan was to do one anyway, even if I had been able to stay in town to get my nails done. And if you want to know what happened with that, watch yesterday's video. Like I said, um, Everything went wrong yesterday. So that could go wrong. Like it just, I think I said yesterday, I want to make sure I mention that in this video too. When one thing will go right, two or three things will go wrong. And so I know yesterday I said like one thing will go right, one thing will go wrong. No, it was actually more like two or three. So it was unbalanced. Okay, so we're 24 minutes and 20 seconds. All right, now, I don't know if I'll be able to fit, since it's only like two main topics, into my thumbnail, I'll try. If 
not description box. Okay, um, for details. So I told myself, since trust me for what's going on, like I said in the background, that I'm not really talking about a lot. Um, I know the day could have went worse. I, I know, okay? And I know there are pressing issues in the world. Trust me, I know. You know, um, I live in it just like everyone else. Um, maybe not in certain places, but I mean, you can't turn the TV without seeing it, talk to your friends, family members about it. Um, so I know that um, there's difficult times and pretty much just chaos. Um, things, two things that just keep going. Um, you know the thing is always something. Well, for any time for you that's not, I'm happy for you and I hope that um, for however long period of time, everything is okay, say it's that way. Um, just the fact that at some point something's bound to happen. If not financial, if not health-wise, I hope we are for your health. Um, or anything like that, um, someone my past from family, you know, it's just, at some point something will happen that just kind of, I would say, toss your whole world kind of upside down somewhat, no matter how much you're prepared, or that just changes the whole mood of everything. Um, that's what I mean when I say, I think that's what the, what the saying kind of means, so to speak. Innocence, part of it. So, for as long as things can be okay with you, I hope they stay that way. And your loved ones, your friends, family, um, some friends are both, right? So, yes, I really do. If you're having a good day, I hope it stays that way and it turns into a good week and it turns into a good month and it turns into a good year. Um, it is possible, short side of losing someone. So, um, or an accident, like I said, unexpected things, but, um, or possibly expected. The accident, no, that's why I call it an accident, right? Um, you can kind of see it when it's about to happen, but I mean, up to that point, you wouldn't know. So, yes, that is why, I want to make my glasses for you. Motivational message for you guys for today. Um, if you could last longer than that, two, three, four years, that's wonderful. Okay, so I really do wish everyone the best. Okay, so with that said, I thought for the two days, the my irritated walk and talk and the yesterday, my partially irritated walk and talk because I wasn't fully irritated, I'm going to talk about the good things. Okay, so hopefully that will turn into enough talks or topics for both walks. Okay, so we're 28 minutes, uh, 0.91 for distance, and 97.6 for calories. Okay, so uh, we'll start with, from what I remember, for the uh, the my irritated day. Like I was just always irritated. I had I already had it by the morning, right? Okay. Well, the good things. Um, for one, I was able to stop one fly because they both thought they should land on me together and keep messing with me the entire time I was in here. And I had to uh, keep starting my reporting over. Well, I got one fly and the other one landed on my towel and stayed um, after landing on me several times. So the fact that it stayed and I got to finish the walk, especially since I don't even remember if that was a double day. Um, oh, my face is itchy. So the fact that that happened and I was like, okay, it's peaceful. That was a good thing. Um, so far as far as I can remember, nothing else that happened that day. Um, so the rest of the day went okay, but I'm trying to think if there was anything else. I thought there would be some more. I think, I think it would be more so for yesterday because I remember yesterday better than I remember a couple days ago. 
Uh, that's not good, right? Got to work on the memory. I guess it kind of also depends on what happens, right? If it's serious enough, it'll stand out in any way, like on its own. It'll be something that you couldn't forget, right? So, yes. Um, trying to think. I think, I don't remember if that was the day I was telling you guys that I was going to have the driving lesson. Um, which would have meant that the driving lesson for the ATT would have been after that video. But if it was, I already told you guys about that. So recap real quick. Um, it went well and it's comfortable. I know to drive with my whole foot because I don't drive my whole foot normally. Um, and the fact that this is not the first thing I was learning how to drive, that was a good thing. I have, you know, knowledge of a good portion of the rules of the road. And um, the fact that it, my husband picked the road where no one was there, and it was a long stretch. No one came and told us, hey, private property, you have to get off of it. Um, but, I mean, the road's there. You have to get down to that place somehow, right? There's a business down there. And so, also it was a nice day. It wasn't dusty. Um, it was slightly windy, but not um, not super windy, and we had a good time. He was really proud of me, um, probably more than I was proud of myself. And I remember when I was driving back and we were practicing stopping at certain points. Like I said, I would pick a sign and then try to stop by that sign, no matter how fast I was going or how slow. And so I know I got that look on my face. He's like, what's wrong? And I was like, well, this happened and that happened. And I was able to correct it, you know? Um, that's fine. I, did, I told you guys about when the front tire got stuck in that soft dirt. But I still got us out of there. And that's what he pointed out. And so he's like, you did good. And, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm that person, I told you guys, where there's never a time if you feel the need you're watching to where you would have to critique me or do constructive, hopefully this person does that here, they know what constructive means, you know, criticism, or if you're just in the flat out criticizing, trust me. Um, whatever you would write, whatever you would say, I probably said worse of thought of myself or to myself. So it's not necessary. Like I said, it's supposed to be a positive channel overall. with as many positive messages as I can give. Um, when they come, there are not, some are planned and some aren't. And you never know what you might say to inspire somebody. So if I'm inspired anybody, hopefully in a good way, okay, um, good, I'm happy. I don't think that enough encouragement is, is given. Um, when needed. Okay, so we're 33 minutes, 10 seconds, one mile, uh, well, well, I guess 1.9 miles, and 116 calories. All right, so, um, yes, that was the good thing about that. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a one piece, so we made it home safe. You never know what, what's going to happen. We live just far enough away from that road where something could have, but it didn't. So that's a good thing. Um, like I said, if it was that same day, then also, you guys know I made it short of, well, my husband took the video of when I was driving, and so I took the one that was one minute, one second, you know, shorts, um, can only be 60 seconds. And for some reason, I've noticed that before I had to go through the extra steps, um, now, I don't know how long it's gonna stay, because when it comes, it goes away. I have the opportunity to click on shorts in the plus sign in the YouTube app. And I thought I had it before, or no. No, I take that back, I never had it. Um, what went away was the something, I can't remember. Um, I think it's all back. Now I'm back to having 
four options. So shorts is at the top. I think upload video is next. I believe go live. And the third part, actually fourth, would be the, uh, what do you call those, the post, I think. So the app is back to me like that, with the shorts added. Um, as you guys know before, I had to go to one of my videos, clip the video, and then on my phone, and then the option to make a short would be on the clip, and then I would have to make a short like that. Then, after that, YouTube started turning any video I had that was less than 60 seconds into a short. And I think on their end, if it was 60 seconds, it was still turned to a short. On my end, I noticed it couldn't be past 57 seconds. And then, like say, say I cut down a part of my video before an upload, knowing that it will automatically upload as a short, basically. And so, um, then it got to the point to where I could do 58 seconds. I didn't want to chance it with 59 because you don't know, or at least, well, I guess this, I'm saying in general, so you don't know if they were doing that with your account, like they were, or with mine, if 59 minutes, I mean seconds, even though it was less than a minute, was going to upload as a short. And if you wanted it to be a short and it wasn't, then you had to delete it and start over and make it shorter. And uh, if, if 58 seconds didn't work, then you have to delete it again and make it 57 seconds. And like I said, I'm speaking from experience. So um, yesterday is when the option for me to make it short came up. <clears throat> Excuse me. So also, also today, uh, as a matter of fact, I think the shorts thing showed up yesterday. But today, I went to, I thought, I don't want to make a short with my camera app, with my camera. I want to have my little video be a short. I'm thinking it's going to do the same thing if I just upload it as a video. Because if you click the shorts, you know you're going to end up making a short from scratch, right? Right then and there. So I think it's going to happen the same way. I pick upload. I pick the one that I just uploaded today, 11 seconds. And what it did was it actually went to, let's see, what would that be? Uh, the next short screen. So like, you know, first you make it, then you say, okay. Then it goes to the screen where you can like put a title and uh, put some special effects. Okay, so now I think it was, let's see what happens first. I'll go to what happens first. Okay, which I think is the second uh, window. Okay, so if you have, let's say, like I did, 11 second video, you upload video, thinking YouTube's gonna turn it into a short. They still do, but they do it through your app, your YouTube app. So the first screen you see is, it'll show you, it'll play. It'll play as if you had recorded it and saved it to go to the next screen where you can make edits. Okay, so it'll show you it over and over again until you click next. Okay, so there's something that comes up in the bottom left I can't remember what it is. Okay, so the next screen is where you can make the edits. Um, add a title, things like that. Now, my concern was going to be that it was going to go down to that frame. I believe, I could be wrong, that if you do a short from scratch, that it will... Uh, upload in, I think it's called the frame, right? Of uh, 9.16. Uh, okay, so 9.16, right? And I didn't want that. I wanted the full view of what I had recorded. And so, 
even though it looked like it was going to do that, like it was going to change it, because um, I think I record in like 4.1 or something, and uh, or colon one. So even though it looks like that, don't worry. Okay, it's not going to, or at least it shouldn't, from what I saw, change it to make it smaller and cut out some of the footage from the sides. Okay, so after that, the next page, <coughs> excuse me, is um, where you pick the title and you change the picture if you want to. And uh, if you're like me, if you're not monetized, you'll see in your studio, it'll tell you that you can't change the thumbnail. Okay, so if you want to change it, that's where you do it. It's like the same thing you see for a video. It's just smaller because the thumbnail for the short is very small in the upper left hand corner. So you change it and you make your title. Now, you cannot add a description until after it uploads. Kind of strange. There's only a couple options you have to change. Okay, so remember when I warned you guys about the fact of if you have music that's copywritten to change the Creative Commons attribution under licensing, okay? You only have that amount of seconds of, or minutes that's uploading to do that, okay? And hopefully, you'll be okay. Because like I said, just because you get verbal um, acknowledgement and just because you change it to Creative Commons doesn't mean that you have the right to use the copywritten material. At that point, if you receive whatever it is, not a strike, but let's say uh, a restriction, you have to prove that that person gave you permission. Okay, so acknowledgement and changing the licensing doesn't uh, work for all the copyrighted stuff, right? Okay, so I know we're over, but I want to make sure I finish this. Okay, so after that, you upload it. Okay, so we are at 41 minutes. 49 seconds, 1.37 for distance, 147 calories. The treadmill did well. I'm going to take a quick break, refill the water, um, try to dry my face, is if that's gonna help, right? Even if I wash it, as soon as I get back out here, or if it's hot enough in there, I'm gonna be sweating again. But I will be right back for video two. I was about to put this down, and I just told you guys I'm going to take it with me. All right, see you in a couple of minutes.